Welcome to another episode of Failing to Success. I'm your host, Chad Kolecki with Cosmic Design. Today on the show, we have Ben LaRue. His company is called Design Vegan, and he helps vegan brands with their marketing. So Ben, how did you get into this niche? Well, I started my freelance design career doing illustrations and creative direction with uh, different news organizations in my area. And I just moved on to doing like freelance design and stuff. And as I became vegan myself, I wanted to really support that vision and align my ethics with my strategy and help others do the same and to to just work with others who have the same vision as me as far as animal ethics and animal rights and taking animals off the assembly line, whether it be eating them or using their bodies for leather or whatever. There's there's a whole niche of businesses pioneering new forms of textiles and foods. And so our goal at Design Vegan is to be the creative force behind that business boom of the vegan industry. Have you seen a lot of growth over the past few years? Yeah, it's been an insane amount of growth and it's and it's, and it's projected to grow quite a lot. There was just an article in Veg News about the vegan industry doubling into like 19 billion or something like that in the next four or five years. So Wow, that's the cheeseburger industry needs to watch out. I agree. They need so to. along building this business, has there been anything along the way that was a major roadblock? Say the major roadblock block has just been not systematizing, learning to systematize along the way. And, and as far as networking and having a system in place as far as what to do when you're networking, when you meet your prospects and, and that sort of stuff. What was it that made you make that shift to veganism? Just the desire to just not be connected to the suffering in the world. I know that for me, it became, I would, I would. I was pretty minimal on the meat I would eat, but when I would, I would be thinking about the last breath that, that animal took, like to uh, to live its life, to end up in my hands, and what I do for me to consider it food. It just uh, yeah, I just I just want to feel connected to everything in the universe and not feel like I'm adding to the harm and to the discomfort of other beings. Did you see any health benefits from switching? Absolutely. I, I, when I first transitioned over into veganism, it was sort of health concerns I was having that helped, helped me with the push. I was having a lot of indigestion and I had to just sort of narrow, start cutting things out of my diet to figure out what it was. And then the, the indigestion stopped. And the next thing I know, I'm like, oh, I'm doing a completely vegan diet. I cut out the meat. I cut out the cheese and everything like that. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to go this route to it. So that was my first into it. It was just, and ever since I do have a lot of energy and I got to remember to keep up on my like vitamin D supplements or whatever. And I think everybody does harness vegan, vegetarian. Everybody needs to keep up on their supplements. It's just, it's just part of being healthy. No, definitely. Definitely. I do a lot of that, but I will say that I am a big red meat eater. It works well for me health-wise, so I just stuck with it. But uh, I appreciate the push that you're making. I was for a long time, man. We're all each in our own place in our journey. And and, and I could have definitely at one point said that in my life to another vegan. And that's okay. And you, the, the fact that you're curious about it, you're asking questions, it's, it's a sign, you know? Yeah. So, so is this your first company? I, I did the solo freelancing stuff for a bit under Ben LaRue. And so, so no. So, so this transition, you found something you're passionate about. You said, I, I understand this. I can do the branding for it. And it just so happens you, you nailed an industry that was about to blow up. Yes, sir. Yeah. And that's a good, it's a good path in business that people can learn from. If you align your passion with what you're working on, you typically have the money typically follows you. Yes, sir. I agree. Yeah. I've been inspired by niche marketing. I, I knew many years ago that niche was the way to go as far as agency. Like there was, there's a brand called online marijuana design.com and they would niche and do the marijuana industry. They're now called uh, wick and mortar.com, but they're, they're a really cool brand. Ex world worldwide reputation. And, uh, but yeah, they were my first inspiration. I was like to niche down. And, and do something you're passionate about, it all kind of lined up for me. Yeah, I know. It's great to hear. So is there a moment in your path, not necessarily just business personal, where you look back and you're like, that was pivotal in my life? Yeah, it was definitely the time that I went vegan. And that was 
it corresponded with the birth of my daughter, you know, just wanted to make sure she had a world someday to live in with fish in the ocean and animals in the forest and uh, just a world of less suffering. And, and I think before then I could, uh, I always knew, I always felt drawn to the ethics of veganism because I'm really kind of into religion, like meditation and that sort of thing. And so I found the harm, the the harm-free sort of lifestyle through that. And, uh, and I feel like before she was born, I could sort of be like scorched earth, just like, I know that it's wrong and I don't really care. And then when she was born, I was just like, oh my God, I be the change that I know I need to see. And I, and I want to pioneer that. And I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Be, so do you do a lot of meditation? You, you were saying that you do that now yeah. too? Yeah. And what kind of benefits do you see from it? Benefits, I'd say it just kind of helps me to maintain just sort of a calm, collected state of mind. Whereas I can, because I've been meditating for so long, I have really good control of my body and my emotions, and I can just sort of still my body really quickly, and then and then subsequently still all my turmoil in my body. I like I like the Tao Te Ching and different books of philosophy like that. Find the middle way. It's like we exist in duality between good and bad, and it doesn't have to be good or bad. You can just be in the middle, you know. And that's that's where I find meditation. Yeah, that's, it's good to know. I mean, I do it as well. And I don't know how I could run a business without meditating because of the daily in and out stress that you go through. Yes. So Ben, if somebody wanted to reach out to you or your company to have some design work done, how would they do? So right now on the website, we have our branding on demand offer. And that's, that's three tiers of service you can get as far as your needs. And go to the website, designvegan.com and check out pricing if you're, and that's for brands that are a little further along that have their branding guidance, their logo and their color scheme and that sort of thing. If you need more, if you do need that sort of thing, hit us up because that is a little bit different of a process, but yeah, for basic graphic design services right now, you can just get on the website and go to pricing and get on board with that. Well, thank you, Ben, for being on the show. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for listening to another episode of Failing to Success. I'm your host, Chad Kalecki with Cosmic Design. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more great content.